All right, let's talk about the songwriter contest because that's that's got the most immediacy to it. I'm going to ask people, are you a ting or are you a ter? Because the official name is the Swanee River Keeper Songwriter Ting Contest. I got gotcha. you. But various people, including our MC from last year here and our MC from coming up, call it the Songwriters Contest. So I'm going to ask, are you a ting or a ter? <laughs> Um, I'm a, uh, I'm a neither. I, I'm a recipient that's tone deaf and I love and enjoy <laughs> the competition. It's very folksy. Mm -hmm. Well, and we, we're going to have a lot more music this time, even than last time, because first of all, we got two headliners, two, because we got uh, Scott Perkins, our winner last year, is coming back from Atlanta with his band, Little Perks in Paradise, and we got Bob Oss's own Dirty Bird and the Flu. They know how to entertain people. They're fun in their own right. Mm -hmm. And then the contest begins. That's right. Well, and before we have to hear from the finalists, then the three judges are going to play a song. In fact, they're, they're threatening to form a group and play a song as a group. That's J.J. Roll. He's apparently our permanent judge. He's been a judge every single time. And Josh Duncan and Kenji Bowen. They're actually all from Valdosta, which is convenient for us. We don't have to pay for any hotels for them. <laughs> it's happening on August 21st. It's going to be at the Turner Center Art Park. It's open air, so you space accordingly, meaning you put, place your chair wherever you want to place your chair that you'll feel comfortable with, and then the fun begins. Right, we'll have tables set up and uh, we'll have them space so they're at very least six feet apart. There's plenty of room there because there's a grassy area and then there's a parking lot and a street. Then there's another parking lot that's plenty of room. And once we get to the actual music, we're going to have nine finalists. Wow. Because we got so many good songs, the committee could not bear to admit any of them. We even put it up for public voting, and after that, we still couldn't do it. We couldn't. We just had to have them all be finals. Hey, i got to remind you, too, this is not free because it's a fundraiser for Walls. Uh, Ten bucks in advance, twelve bucks if you would just uh, walk out day of show, correct? That is correct. And if you want to, if you got a big group, we uh, will have $150 for a six seat VIP table in front of the stage. We sold one of those already. All right. And they put every dollar to good work and testing in uh, and marketing and promotion and signs, uh, whatever's needed. That's what that money's going to. That's right. We'll talk about a little bit, bit of that in a moment, I think. Um, so I also should mention that our MC this year is Big Country, Wes James from WAAC, and he's really James, he's not the opposite, he's James, Wes James. We used to call each other cousins or something, but it was all a, it was all a false statement at the time. Yeah, he's a, he's a, a nut, he'll be a great MC for you. Yeah, when I was on his show talking about this, this picture, he broke out in the song. Yeah, careful, he might do that there as well. Rivers Radio Group, a big sponsor. Uh, Wes is going to be the, the MC. He misses being on the radio uh, um, every Friday night. He still has a great show every evening and has a great uh, gospel show on Sundays mm -hmm. as well out there at Rivers Radio Group. Um, and then people just come and enjoy. And again, you're, you're doing it for a good cause. You're doing it for our, our area of walls and our area of Riverkeeper, who is sitting in this room right now. Alrighty then, and uh, our sponsors include Rivers Radio Group, Talk 92.1 FM, Lanier County News, ADL Outfitters, and the Jacksonville Songwriters Group, and our top tier sponsor again is Georgia Beer.